Um, I have some questions for you. Is this for the assignment? What? Is this for the assignment? Yes. Okay. Shoot. Okay, were you on the set of your mother's movies? Um, as a little boy, I can remember being on the set of Two for the Road. And, um, there's a picture in the book, actually, of that. Um, we're sitting in, like, a small director's chair, and she's holding me in her arm. She's wearing a hat, sort of, like, beach stripey clothes. I must be about six or seven or something like that. Okay, I'll look at that. Yeah. I mean, I was, uh... Uh, on the set of Breakfast at Tiffany's, but not in person. I was inside my mother, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where was your favorite place to be with your mother? Oh. I guess she'd invite me over for sleepovers sometimes on weekends or something like that. And then we'd turn off the light and uh, chat about this and that and about all kinds of stuff. Okay. Maybe that was my favorite place. Was the press bad when you were small? Was the what? Was the press bad when you were small? They were, always, they were worse when I was small than when we, when we got sort of on with the years. I mean, after I was about 18 or 20, and, you know, they calmed up a lot about her, too. She was then in her 50s. and uh, So, but yeah, when, when I was a kid, they were all the time, especially in Italy, a lot of paparazzi. You go out to lunch on Sunday, and... They chased you around town, and my, my stepdad, Andrea, had an old Mercedes convertible that his stepdad had left him when he passed away. And um, so we remember sitting in a little, they used to have this little back seat, some school chum and myself, and he'd race through the street of Rome and lose the paparazzis in some funky little car, you know, taking pictures out of the window. Oh, yeah. Uh, what were Audrey's emotions when she started to see Robbie Walders? I think that, uh, you know, as you get on with the years, maybe you don't fall in love quite the same way. But um, I think that um, she found a, a friend there as well. You know, they grew up very close to each other in Holland. So they had certain familiarities and certain expressions, and it would take them back to their youth and... and um, He'd been around the movie business his whole life, um, so he understood, and uh, he was happy to do this UNICEF work. I think, you know, every relationship is different, and every relationship grows differently and for different reasons. And um, I think that that probably that work that they did for UNICEF together, because they traveled together, was uh, a very important foundation, that, and I think would be a benefit to any relationship. Any two people who are thrust into something like that together and have to sort of to reach deep down in their souls to try and make sense of the world we live in when you see what they've seen uh, is, is a tremen tremendous uh, solidifier of, of a relationship. So I think they've had very deep feelings, but they never had sort of like honeymoons and lighthearted every day. I mean, yes, they would have some when they were back in, in Switzerland and have some normal holiday time or whatever, but they spent the lion's share of their time doing this work, and it was, it was hard. It was hard to travel. It was hard to get there. It was hard while they were there. It was emotionally difficult. And then um, when they got back to the States or to Europe, and there'd be a heavy schedule of press and, you know, uh, fundraisers and meet the Senate and the Congress and heavy stuff. You, know, you have to get dressed up early, made up, and go from one thing to the next. It's like going on a business trip in Tokyo. You know, you're up at six in the morning, you get home at midnight, and you start the next morning again. Um, when Luca was born, how were you and your mother feeling? Um, I was very happy to have a little brother. I really like my stepdad, and I think she was thrilled. You know, she lost a couple of babies before that, so I think she was very happy. I think as happy as she was when she became pregnant with me. Yeah. Okay, I I really thank you, and I I 